Boris Becker says he doesn't feel German anymore and wants to be buried in his home Wimbledon. The three-time Wimbledon champ, who was this year declared bankrupt, was born and raised in Lyman, Germany, but has lived in London for several years. He currently lives just 2,300 steps away from the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club in SW19, where he first lifted the trophy as a 17-year-old in 1985. In the opposite direction from Becker's house is the Gap Road Cemetery, a leafy place with spacious green meadows and two chapels. And he says that's where he wants to be buried. Becker, who turns 50 tomorrow, has given broadcaster Art an exclusive glimpse into his London life. Becker won Wimbledon as a 17-year-old in 1985 image Getty Images Europe he said I want to be buried in Wimbledon. With only some grey tombstones and no pompous monuments, German media have described Gap Road Cemetery as altogether very British. A grave, which can be leased for 50 years or 75 years, would cost Becker around £8,860. Explaining his decision, Becker said, I probably will not come back to Germany. I have a German passport, but I do not feel like a German. My home is London. A London insolvency court declared Becker bankrupt after he failed to pay a year-old debt. However, he insists he has no financial problems and that the dispute is over the rate of interest is owed. A millionaire at 18, Becker has won more than £22 million in tennis prize money and millions more in sponsorship deals. Becker lifted the men's singles trophy three times at Wimbledon Image Halton Archive in the documentary, much of the focus is on his recent financial woes. Last summer, he says he had to take drastic steps to pay debts owed to his former Swiss business partner Dr. Hans Dieter Cleveland who threatened to initiate a claim for £32 million. German Daily Bild reported that Becker mortgaged several properties he owns, including his own mother's, to pay off the huge debts. Dr. Cleveland said he said, I can give you my finca, Spanish estate on Majorca for you to exploit as you wish. I answered, Boris, I have to remind you that it already belongs to me. The 74-year-old businessman, listed as the 399th wealthiest Swiss citizen, said his lawyers had discovered that Becker had already mortgaged the Majorca estate several days earlier to a friend in London who gave him a few million dollars with the house as collateral. Dr. Cleveland also reportedly found out that Becker had mortgaged more properties such as his own mother's house in Lyman. He said I was often asked why I did not protect in the land registry the collaterals which were listed such as the Finca. Back then Boris was still my business partner and on the surface we were on good terms. I thought I could not simultaneously register a mortgage deed on his property. If I had tried to so do with the house in Lyman in which his mother lived it would have caused a big outrage. I wanted to avoid any publicity. Becker wants to be buried at Gap Road Cemetery Image Golders Google Maps together with Becker. Dr. Cleveland founded the Becker Cleveland Foundation as the tennis ace allegedly promised Cleveland sports equipment company Volkel he would make their rackets among the most used in the world. Yet the relationship between the pair quickly soured, with Swiss local media saying that Cleveland did not approve of Becker's private life. According to his own account, Dr. Cleveland would like to use large parts of the expected repayment for his foundation that focuses on children and their healthy development. In one health initiative called Fit for Future, the largest project of the Cleveland Foundation, more than 500,000 primary school pupils, their parents and some 22,000 teachers participate free of charge in Germany and Switzerland, according to the foundation, in health initiatives and workshops.